For reference, crosshairs were permanently etched into the lunar cameras, so they would have to appear on top of every image. But in this photo, a crosshair is behind a part of the lunar rover. This situation is impossible and has to be the result of technical manipulation and doctoring of the image. And in this photo from Apollo 11, the equipment in the foreground is covering the crosshair, not behind it. And in another from Apollo 12, the American flag is covering one crosshair and the astronaut is covering the other. When presented with these questionable photos and videos, NASA refutes the conspiracy theories. Some range from incredibly complicated to incredibly goofy. Um, there are arguments that are um, wrong optically, they're wrong physically, they're wrong scientifically, they're wrong historically. There's uh, you know, a great deal of claptrap that is sort of woven in to these arguments. But despite what NASA says, conspiracy theorists still insist that Apollo was a hoax. When I looked at all the pictures and all the footage, I'm absolutely convinced I bet my life on it, that we didn't go to the moon. I know for a fact that we didn't. Coming up next, tragedy strikes the Apollo program. The program could be stopped dead in its tracks. Three astronauts die in a pre-launch simulation. But was it an accident? He was going to blow the whistle on the whole project. And later, could the astronauts have survived a trip into deep space? Before they got one halfway to the moon, they would have picked up a death dose of radiation. Next, on Conspiracy 